Hey folks, Adam here from 911 Tip, and today we're looking at this. It's from Easy Fries. It's a French fry cutter and fruit and vegetable slicer. That's right, and it's absolutely amazing. I'm going to check it out, and we're going to kick it off right about now. So first off, I want to answer some questions for our viewers, some people who have purchased this in the past, and frankly, sometimes they get out of the box, they don't know what to do with it, right? So... Let me tell you, it does come with two blades, which you're going to be want, want to be careful, obviously, not to touch the sharp ends of the blades, just safety there. And you can drop the blades into this canister. They line straight up and go in easily. Now, this one is a great blade for things like apples and slicing, where this one is going to be a great blade for potatoes. You make great French fries here. And then, now the other side of it is that a lot of people get confused with this. It just comes off, and you've got two tops. One is for your potatoes, which matches the blade style, and one is going to be for your apples. Again, that matches the blade style. So I'm going to go ahead and let's start off with apples. So go to the, and obviously you can cut other things with this. Go ahead and drop this in, boom, just fits right in, and the top goes on. Very simple and straightforward. Same here, just take this and drop it in. It's really a simple process. Now let's cut some apples. I happen to have two different size apples. Boom, boom, very nice apples here. First, we're going to go ahead and set the apple in the cutter. I haven't cored the apple or anything, and we just go ahead and we press it in long ways. And we've got a beautiful cut for your apples. And see, perfect slices. It was just that easy. Set the apple in, line it up, and push down. Very easy, and you've got perfect apple slices every time. That's amazing. I'm gonna set these apple slices here, and let's try it with a slightly larger apple. This might be a Fiji apple. I always like this style more. They taste better to me. But you can see this is a larger apple. So I just want to show to you that this works for both. Now I try to line it straight up with the core right there. Okay. We line her up. And let's see. Now when it's that big of an apple, there we go. Lined up correctly. Push down. You can use both hands if that helps you and you can see perfect apple slices every time. So now I've got a whole bunch of apples to eat after this video. I know what my snacks for today are gonna be. Um, my friend Amy, she always uses hummus or some dessert hummus with chocolate and dips it in there. And um, she also likes cashew butter with her apples. But look at that. In just a few seconds, I got a whole bowl of apples. Next up, we're gonna talk about potatoes. This is really the bread and butter of this machine. We're gonna do the small and the medium sized potato. So now we're going to switch out the blade just as I instructed you. Be careful not to grab the blade portion. I'm gonna switch over to here, drop that right in. And then again, watch that. This comes off that easily. I think that, that trips a lot of people. Put it in and just that easy, right? So first, let's do the smaller blade, or the smaller potato. I'm going to go in um, straight down, almost like an egg standing on its end. Line her up, and boom, French fries. You know, I made these yesterday. I practiced this video one time, um, and I made French fries yesterday in the air fryer, so no oil at all, and then I put Cajun seasoning on them, and they were absolutely amazing. So look at that, a bowl full of french fries probably cost you 25 cents. You're saving money and they're absolutely delicious and you cook them at home and you're going to be able to, um, I don't know, just make them the way you like. I put ranch on them, put some Cajun powder and they were freaking delicious. Now we're going to go ahead and line this up. We've got a potato long way, larger potato, and then I'm gonna push down with both hands. Let me just make sure it's straight and push it in both hands. Look at that. Look at those potatoes. Perfect French fries right there, folks. That's gonna be amazing. I'm gonna throw that, I mean, obviously you can deep fry it. 
you can bake it, but you're gonna get great fries. And look at this, a matter of 15 seconds. Can you imagine how long that would take to make all those perfect cut fries? Um, otherwise, I didn't even, um, what is it called? I didn't shave the potato or whatever, peel the potato. I kind of like the um, peels to be on it. And that's going to be an amazing set of french fries. So let me hold that up for you. Look at how many french fries. That's an extra large french fry at any restaurant. You can uh, top those, maybe put some cheese, put some dressing on them. You could probably take these, put some cheese, some bacon, some sour cream, and make a heck of a amazing meal out of it. Put, put some bacon on there, absolutely amazing. So this, again, is the um, Easy Fries uh, French Fry Cutter. You just place, push, and you're done. It's that easy. This easily rinses out, and like I said, easy storage, a nice solution. I keep it in the box when I'm not using it, and it's pretty darn amazing. So this is the 2.0, super sturdy, super strong blades, and this thing's gonna cut and cut and cut. I'm gonna kick these into the air fryer, I'm gonna throw some seasoning on them, and I got lunch ahead of me. Thanks again for watching. Adios, amigos.